Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, everyone. I'm really sorry tonight. I don't know what happened to either my connection or the Facebook itself. I suppose it's my connection. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a few music, a few minutes of music, just to get people back online. Sorry, everyone that's been online, and then I had to. Oh oh. I had to. Um, God bless you. God bless everyone. Thank you for joining back. Let's just give it one minute or two then. Uh, God bless you, Pastor Saji. I'm really sorry. Honestly, I don't know what happened tonight. Welcome to the Wise Builders. If you've been on before, we had a disruption, so I'm just reconnecting with you. Tonight, we are talking, after this, we are talking about confronting your um, revelations with reality in your relationship. Hello. Is upon my life. I will dance like David dance. When the spirit of the Lord is upon my life. Because of our time, I wouldn't want us to waste so much time. Um, just let me do the intro just in case. And because of um, future reference and people just joining, you're welcome to the Wise Builders. My name is Olakwa Guradini. If tonight is your first time of joining, you're welcome. And if you're regular on the show, you're welcome as well. The way we do it, we're all wise built together. So tonight I'm rushing. We were on before, but the network just disrupted the whole thing. So we are starting all over. So I'll just rush through it. Basically, what we are discussing tonight is confronting our revelations and reality, confronting the revelations and realities in your relationship or any relationship you know. This as as simple as it sounds is a major catastrophic issue in every marriages that i know how do people address things and it happens to every one of us like i said yours might not be that big there's no guy or lady I, okay let me give you an, another example there was a lady and the guy that i match made at some, some years ago and then the lady came and she sat and i was introducing them together and then they, they, they took their relationship for that. Unfortunately, they didn't get married. So once they came to see me and then they were planning to get married, you know, and then the lady sat down, I just realized she was up, she wasn't herself. So I said to her, so, 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 you're not free. She said to me after, she said, a pastor, I can't be free. There's still some things I have to hide. I said, you, you, this is the person you're going to live the rest of your life with. You cannot afford to hide things from your spouse, you know. So these are the problem, the revelations. You know, when love captures two ads, they both find out that there's so much to discover. We are not born by the same mother or we are not raised in the same climate or in the same country or under the same roof by the same parents. So ideologies, culture, things differ. Oh, it differs. So are ah, you... How, how, how do you cope? How did you cope? What are the revelations you found? There's nobody. I know some of you here. You are always goody to she. You know, right? But I, will, I've, I said giving examples before. I won't go back to those examples. Unfortunately, I've deleted that video because I don't want people to keep lo logging onto that one. They will think it's the life one, but I want them to log onto this. So, usually, relationship begins after the first two dates, and people are like, okay. I like him, we like, I like her, let's start, you know. And you find out that, that's why I say to people, if you meet your guy, if you are going to call him, a friend of mine said something to that I regretted using, you know, in a Nigerian palace, um, um, Nigerian language, it's very Yoruba one, we like respect. Now, respect doesn't mean that you can't call him your name. So a lot of ladies till tomorrow, they regret that. I know a good friend of mine that said to me, I admire couples that call themselves by names and only and pet and all these things. But I started using air, air for him, um, as in, you know, um, pronouncing your um, respect, you know, in, in intoning it. It comes out from the way you are dressing, like our daddy, uh, um, our daddy, your daddy is in your house, man. But we are different. So, yeah, it could be 10 years older than you. Love, love is irrespective of age, but... 
You know, you can call him pet names. That women eventually finds out that these things does not make them to really get close knitted or very, very friendly because there's kind of barrier. So there are lots of revelations, people snoring. You find out your husband is not what he says or your wife is not what she says. Family background, lies about backgrounds, lies about certificate nowadays, lies about education, lies about a lot of things. Some are not even lies. Some are inconsistencies, little inconsistencies, like the person that snore. In fact, to be honest with you, I thought about that thing, which is disclosure part of the, um, that you have to say, ah, my my dear, let me tell you, one year ahead of time, I snore. I don't think that one, but the lady did not, she's a very light sleeper. To be honest with you, it took serious counseling and intervention. As simple as that was, I witnessed it that it did not end that much because the lady was like it's not it's not badly and you know some men that when it's not the roof will be shaking and then those kind of things so how do we confront so i don't know what um revelations i, I don't know what you stumbled across some men will not not even men alone you no know, children out of wedlock packaging like when one of my sister said on Instagram, real packaging that people have packed themselves, they've not told you they have, or even about their family background, things, revelation about their culture. Okay, somebody was speaking to me this week actually about a friend of hers that got married and the guy, the guy cleaned up, the guy did everything, the guy was not a Christian, the guy said, well, all you guys that are pretending that you are, it is well with you, just to marry a, a lady. So this guy cleaned up, pretended as if he, he, was a, he was a Christian because he wanted to catch this babe and this fine babe that, that you know, but the guy, guy is a very good Christian. So the guy was a Muslim. The guy pretended, you know, they got married. In fact, I said when I heard that, that ah, maybe the girl is not sensitive. They got married, did everything. After their first child, the lady went to church one day. By the time she came back, he saw the guy on the mat even trying to indoctrinate their daughter or teach the doctor, daughter Muslim. And the guy was like, what's this? He was almost fainting. The guy said, what, what? I've just been keeping it from you. Anytime you go to your church, I've been doing, I'm a staunch Muslim. You know, how do you confront such? That's a bad revelation. So tonight, like I said, the topic, drop your comments as I read it out to people. Have you come across this kind of revelations in your marriage? family background, things that you're like, oh my days, ordinarily wouldn't have taken, or even if you would have taken it, you would have addressed it to an extent, since the person down to say, oh, this is the way I want us to be, this is the way you want, but people have just covered up, and then how do we, because that is the major cause of divorce, and on this platform, what we are trying to do is we are building our homes, our lives, and doing things well, you know, Sometimes when you think you are the only one in a big mess, I'll just open your mouth and you know that you have masters, people with PhD that have gone through what you have you are going through. So there's nothing new. The Bible says there's nothing new under the sun. Where what you are thinking that you cannot condone, people are condoning it. A friend said sometimes, Oh, if if my if my husband slapped me once, I'm gonna walk out of the house. Yes, I wouldn't I wouldn't encourage it for any man to be a bitter or to be a beast. But if he accidentally, maybe he gets into it, yeah, I don't know, just a one-off, sit him down, go for counseling, but don't work out of your marriage because, because of tribal things. So no matter who you marry, there's one thing you can count on. The person you wed will bring with them a reality that at times will feel alien, even unacceptable to you. No matter even if we marry the the best person on earth, which there's no best person on earth. There are some things. So what are your reactions? How do you handle your reactions? Most of us, we run back to our parents. We we tell our friends and they mess things up for us. Do you know his nose? Do you know his mother is this? Do you know, no, 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 no. He, didn't, he, he lied to me about this one. Do you know that? Those are the realities. So how do we confront it? These are revelations that we walk into Thank you very much. There's, there's a comment which I'm going to read in a minute from Pastor Soji John. My wife accepted my proposal for marriage because according to her, she said she saw a truthful man in me, one who was convinced of where he was going. Today we are both happy.
for the decision. No point for lying to anybody, especially to the person you would want to spend the rest of your life with. Thank you very much, my pastor. Thank you very much. There's no cause for lying to your spouse. Just say it the way. One of the things people don't know, like I kind of mentioned it last week, it's lack of confidence. It's lack of confidence. You're thinking like she's too big for me. She ah, that's a big, especially nowadays when you have all these boss ladies. <laughs> Guys are now packaging. Don't package anything. They're now packaging to mar packaging to marry a lady. She's gonna find out, find out, and she's gonna walk out. That's why marriage is six months. You find out what. Why would a marriage that you a, a well celebrated marriage? Why would it break up after six months? Why would things not work out? A woman of God marry a woman for my dear Lord, my pastor woman, bless you. You know, why would things not work out in your marriage? It's because people are not very truthful. So like Pastor Soji said, let us be open. Even if you're a baba and you want to marry a doctor, just say to her, I'm ready to upgrade myself. This is my provision. This is my humble background. This is the way I, where I come from. My parents are these they, they Being humble doesn't mean anything, you know? Your parents are your parents. Your family are your family. Just say things the way they are. I remember there was a gentleman that lied to, you know, when people are trying to be up, And he was saying things about their house. They've used, um, in those days, um, oh, rice cooker. And he was even talking and said and to the girlfriend that even a, a rice cooker, we used to use it to cook, to cook um, maybe beans or something like that. I'm like, Hey, see another one. Rice cooker to cook beans. You know, when people are just not, and you know, this kind of people that are forming, they will not put their mouth in one place because they are forming. They are trying to make believe. They have to say it until they will, people will discover. Just be yourself. But let's, let's, let's remove lies and deceit. That is, that is the, that is, those are the serious ones. But what about as Christians, <laughs> somebody is impotent. They didn't tell you. Or somebody is not a virgin. I've seen a marriage <laughs> that collapsed because of that. Till tomorrow, it's only God that knows whether the girl, she says she lost her virginity through sports. You know, nowadays people can lose their virginity even they are, if they scream. I don't know whether it is. <laughs> Before, those are serious things. When you're a virgin, we meet a virgin. You just be humble to say, hey, listen, honey, um, at some point, something happened, and I went out with a guy, and I lost my virginity. Simple. Like, it was somebody that was um, over the week. Somebody, you know, there are some things that happen, and when you are counseling, you like, somebody was asking me to intervene between her and her guy, and she was saying something that uh, she made a mistake. A man slept with her behind her husband, and she got pregnant. I said, "You made a mistake." You just go straight to the point. You had an affair. It was a mistake. Is it, is it a mistake when you and the guy are entering the room? It's not a mistake. These are premeditated things, you know. So don't make things worse. So these are little realization. What genuinely, if a woman is you, the reality that a woman you marry that a claim to be a virgin, it's not a virgin after all. And then what you're gonna do? Or the guy, the guy cannot hold his um, Mr. Tombo up very well. How do we confront all these things? Those are the big ones, but the smaller ones, like people not being who they genuinely, you can marry somebody, a very good woman and everything, but you realize that some of the things she's told you are not what you expected to meet. So our first reaction is anxiety. Oh my God, like that lady that the, on their wedding night, the guy snores badly badly and the girl for a, almost a week she couldn't sleep and she was like you didn't tell me you snow <laughs> as easy as it is that was a major thing and from my own point of view i found it difficult to blame the guy because it wasn't as if he deliberately did not tell her the fact was just that those are not to him he thought it was a non-material fact not important you know to say honestly when i was caught you know i, I wouldn't remember saying things like I, I remember talking about blood group. I remember talking about much, you know, you know, things, you know, children. You know. I could not remember talking about whether I snore, I do not snow. You know, those are things, but they are material, they are important in some relationships. So how do we, you know, we 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 
we we get bamboozled with all these things and anxiety comes in you know some of us is downright betrayal i can't take this he lied to me but as i was saying earlier on sometimes let's chill especially we women let's chill yeah sometimes there's nothing new under the sun i know he shouldn't have lied to you I know he should not have packaged himself, especially nowadays. You two boss lady now, especially my sister's outside. You are driving a jeep. The guy is doing foot watching. He will tell you he uses official car and you know he will go and borrow. Let's 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 understand with these guys. I'm not condoning lies. Clara James, haha, which of the tumbles? The one on children's program, or which one, Mama? Now you sabi, Mister Tombo is the man's banana. Don't leave me tonight. You, I, I, I'm just trying to leave me tonight, or don't let me go down. Anyway, next week look out for our Valentine version by the grace of God. We're really going to get down to business next week, Wednesday by the grace of God. Um, so this can't it, in your courtship or your marriage, you find that people still married five, six, seven years. They are still packaging. How long will you package? You can't package for the rest of your life. You cannot hide, you know. And then sometimes we cannot ignore these differences. Like I said, some is not lies. Some is not packaging. Some is not things. They are just behavior. A man said to me that the wife he married is so dirty. You know, this, especially God help us nowadays. Relationship. I said to people, please. Marriage is honorable in her when the bed is not defiled. It's not when the home is not defiled. Visit him at home, but don't visit him by yourself alone if you know that you don't trust this guy. Know where he lives. Don't let anybody use cottonwood to block your eyes. I'm not saying go and sleep on his bed. Go. I told a sister last week, take your sister. Both of you go and visit him. Know where he's living. Because we are all falling for this camp. And it, oh, it's because we are trying to, to follow the scripture, which is the paramount thing. We have to follow the scripture. But you have to do things right. You have to know where he is. Vet him. Don't take people on their... God forbid. You're so sorry. God forgive us. But that is the world we are in. The world has crept into the church. So because of that, you have to be sure that what you, you're doing, you know, it, it, you're doing the right thing. People, people are not what they say they are. So when you enter, how do you confront these differences? You know, I've said a lot of, I've given a lot of example. It might not be lies. It might just be, is a, is a, a lazy person. I know, I've, and I think I've used that example on this platform once. A marriage that is broken today because the woman thinks the guy is lazy and is lay, lay about, and they are hard workers in their home. The families, so we are going to get there because... The, when you rush to your family, they're going to mess you up on things like this because some of them are issues that we can easily resolve. It's difficult, but the Bible, remember, in the multitude of counselors, there's safety. When you have good counselor, but don't rush to your parents for counseling. Don't. Don't. Let them finish their counseling before you marry. After, you can look for a role model. You can look for your pastor. You can, you can even tell your parents-in-law themselves because it's their son. That way, if I have wronged you, come and report to my own parents, not your own parents, because they will take side and they will not forgive me. Do you understand? So how do we how do we cope with all these things? What are the things we look out for? What, what are the things we do when you are confronted by this revelation? She's a lazy girl. She wasn't a virgin. She lied to me. She's so unkempt. Some some women, they don't know how to dress. Some of us, after we marry, we have become Mama uh, Bobby, Mama, Mama Sheo, and then we are just all over the place. A man said to me, um, sometimes last year, warn my wife because if she continues like this, I'm going to get another wife. Just speak to her. And I searched the woman that I said, you're playing with your marriage. And she next thing she said this, hey, let him go and try it. He's doing adultery. God will punish you. I said, God will punish you because you made him to commit adultery. He married you, you know? So he wants the best. You have to. You are his wife. You're on that. You, so you have to be submissive to what his wishes. He's not asking for any other thing, but that you have to be nice and look okay. Don't don't just be tying wrap around the house as, as if you are mama, mama Shion. So 
factors, most of the factors, I'm going to go on to the factors that affect our decisions. You know, I've given us a few examples about how we confront our revelations. I think revelations are, wow, these are things that popped up. These are things that I found out. Oh my God, so he, he, he didn't tell me. His parents are not his parents. They are, you know, you know, cheap lies. He's not, he's having, he, he, he's, he's not who he says he, he was. His, his, his certificate nowadays, people buy certificate. People just, you know, and I thank God nowadays because after I told people, a few people that I counsel, I said, please try and know these guys or these ladies very, very well because you can't take people on the face value, but even those that are clean, like my pastor, Pastor Soji just said that, okay, they said to their wife, listen, I'm, I'm from a humble background, my father is a carpenter, my mother is a tailor, uh, <laughs> I remember a school story, a friend told me that, I didn't witness that, about a lady that, you know, come from a humble background, but in her school, and I unit the police, she told everybody that her mother is this and that, unfortunately, her mother is mamologi. You know, they were, she, the, mom, the mom sells pap. So the day the mom came to school with a basket and everything, do you understand? Some people can be so vicious and caught. She denied her mother. They said she was saying, eh, who is this? The mom was like, oh, my daughter said, eh, oh, Mama Logi. No, that is the neighbor. Is there a neighbor that the mother just, and her own mother, they said the mom, woman was crying. Ah, ah, so, 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 me, your mother. They said, no. You know, because how long would we do things like this? So how do we confront all this um, life in, life revelation that you find out with our realities? The first one that I want to say is be careful of your expectations. Our expectations in marriages sometimes messes up some. It's good. For everything to be the way it is. Like, okay, look at that lady. She's in love with the man. She does not know the man snores badly. He's, just, he's not committed any sin, but that marriage was almost on the verge. The other one, example, is the lady that was not a virgin. The woman swore and did everything that she didn't know. She's been this virgin. It's possible. But the man's brain was like, she lied to me. That affected, no, you're not a virgin. I didn't see blood. And medically, they did find this, and they found that that it's possible she could have broken her hymen through sports and everything, and she does sports in school. So that man, it took almost five years. I'm not even sure if they've gotten along because that was not reconciled in that early stage of their marriage. So all these issues of life, the first thing I think is wrong with us is our expectation, knowledge of what we think things should be. Yes, everybody should be a, a virgin. Yeah, you can say to if you are sure that you're a virgin, you tell your man I'm a virgin, but don't pretend that you're a virgin when you're not a virgin because if they don't see blood, you're in trouble. Though. Don't start telling us that uh, uh, when you were skipping and you cough and uh, you were jumping and running and the thing just bust. <laughs> God, God sees your logo, like I always say. So our, our life instructions, I'll call them, another thing. Expectation, the first one. Expectation is this is the way I think it should be. This is the kind of husband I think I want to be. Then the man will package. People ask me, I say to them, don't ever tell a guy this is what I want. And for you, let me give you a tip. You singles out there, and a man is asking, what do you like from your man? Come on, don't tell him. Just watch. When you tell a man what you want from him, he's going to package because you're giving him the clue. Oh, I love my man to always know to celebrate my birthday. I love my man to always open the door for me. I love my man to always, mm -hmm. he will do everything for you. Then when you get to you see, realize that he just packaged you. What do you want from your man or your woman? There's nothing. Just just keep going on. I just want us to experience and enjoy this friendship. Then start watching him. You, you know the things you want. Never tell a guy what you want from him. And never tell you a woman. That's it. Anyway, I should be sending this my tip for you. I'm going to start my relationship count coach now. You see, I will be charging you all these tips. I'm giving you free, free, free now. So those are things <laughs> on the most serious now. That life, our life instructions, knowledge from our family, friend, what the society has told us. If you shout at you, just carry your bag. 
and then you get home and the guy is saying Donakbo, what happened why are you late sit down there you're saying to him stop raising your voice ah your your load is up, out of the window those are things that you have to reconcile oh. yes he was opening the car door for him because you wanted him to open the car door for you i love my man to open the the car door for me my husband will never when i tell him maybe you're going i'm so going somewhere now i need to please help me to carry my bag you say ah, i can't carry your bag i'm not good with any that thing used to get on my nerves until one day we were out to, on a function he would say jokingly but it gets on my nerves and then we we went out some some day and we were with another pastor so i said could you have me to hold it and i was tying my wrapper or doing something we went from a church to a church and he was ah, don't tell me to go and the man of god said to him what's the meaning of god and i carry back for my wife and to be honest with you that changed him that is his orientation so don't tell a man that See, when you told him you were carrying back, you were doing everything. A typical, except those that are brought, that are really well brought up, very, very well, that knows the importance of celebrating a woman. A proper African man, you tell him, carry my bag for you. You, you, you will tell you, you want to enslave me. So, life, our life instructions, you know, expectations are the first one. We've already gotten it in our brain that ah, she's a virgin. She's the choir leader in the church. You know, as she comes from a good home, they are, we're going to be rich. It doesn't snow. It doesn't, ah, the guy is, ah, you know. And then you marry, you find out that the guy is not, or the lady is not. This. How do you confront these realities? So that's the first one. The second one, like I said, your life instruct, instructions, knowledge from our family, they've told us, they just said to me, when my husband slapped me, I packed my bag. I said, pack your bag. Pack your bag. He said, my, my mom told me. He said, funny enough, now the husband is doing worse. I just remember. The husband is doing worse. And the last time I was speaking to her, I said, I've not seen you pack your bag. He said, ah, pastor, you know, it's not easy. It's not. I said, it's not, don't let the world. The society, would, it's not right for any man to slap a woman. But give your marriage a chance. I know people that have done that in the first year of their marriage. And they are married and happy today. That's why I said sometimes fight for your marriage. If there is a trend now, leave him. Once he does it for the first time, flag it. Seek counsel. Make sure he doesn't do it again. Some of them is wrong habits they picked up from their family. It's not really who they are. Some of them, they just cannot manage their hunger. But once they are well spoken to them, they will stop it. But if you just say, hey, if you just say, why are you coming? No, you're raising your voice at me because you're a baby boss lady, please. All this life knowledge, what our friends carrying a bag is normal, but women would think, <laughs> I'm reading the comment, I leave Francis carrying a bag is what women would think is their right. What do you mean by is their right? See a man talking, God bless you. I love that. Thank you very much. You see, once you understand the fact that the Lord God created both of you to be one after marriage, once you know a man has joined with his woman, and you are no longer one. The two of you have become. Uh, you are no longer two. What God has joined together, let no man put us under. You become one. There's no right or wrong. There's nobody proving any right. So if you want to, you see, that's a precon preconception from you as well. You already believe that. And I love that. You don't believe that if I, I start carrying a bag for her, she will think it's all right. Why should it be all right? Why should it not be all right? You're her husband. You know, everything about you should be all right. Everything about her should be all right. So, but I don't, I would not be walking and my husband would be carrying my bag. There's nothing wrong with my hands now. But maybe I'm going to the toilet. I said, honey, please help me to hold my bag. So I will say, carry your bag, go. And in those early days, my husband used to say, until later, if I later, he will even carry the bag for me. When I'm back, he said, don't worry, let me relieve you. Because knowledge, knowledge in, in this life makes us wise. So things that, you know, knowledge from family, friends, society, school, all those things that we've learned from our school. Please don't take it into your marriage, though. Life instructions. Right, life good life instructions are good, but negative life instructions that they will tell you, eh, it's, 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 uh, don't, don't marry, it's snoring. If your husband is snoring, call. I'll give you an example. When I first got married, my husband used to snore. I will wake up in the night, I will not be able to sleep. I, I wasn't thinking of marriage with divorce. Why would I think of snoring divorce? You know, and I'll be thinking, I'm like, oh, oh, oh Lord, how am I gonna sleep? This one, look at the way it's snoring. Then I'll tap him. The poor man will wake up his side and say, turn on your side. I realize when he turns on his side, you know, let that, to be honest with you, 
The snoring became a lullaby for me. In fact, when I go on the bed, as he doing, crawl, he will rock me out of sleep. Later, he started telling me that you two snore. I said, I don't snore. The one they recorded my snoring. So if you have left your marriage because someone is snoring, when you start snoring, what, what are you going to do? I said, and I, said, I was arguing because I know I don't snore. I sleep so quietly. I'm not boasting. I, so, but I realized as I was aging and work pressure and everything, I snored. One day himself and my son, they recorded it. I woke up, they said, hey, I said, hey, hey. so it's me snoring. <laughs> me that was coming because in the end, I could not take it. So what we are trying to say is just be very, very careful. Let's be patient with all this um, revelation. Let's be prayer for the first point, apart from those two important things, that our expectation is what is messing us up. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor Titus. God bless you, sir. You know, our expectations and life, things that we picked up from picture, the way we want things to be. Our husband is this, this, this. this is my wife. He has to be like this. Then when you marry and you find out things, and because of this, these men and women are this, they cover up, they call the thing because somebody gave us the right word tonight. They package into it. Some of them will even tell you they don't poo poo, you know, and then we'll do ping, ping, ping. And then they, your mar husband married you, realize you're so dirty, the house is everything, the man is, you know. So let us just say, uh, you're not, no woman will tell us, Reverend Roger, God bless you, ma. Nobody will say, I'm a lazy one, but it, it, I know a woman that will tell you, see, my hand is plastic, I can't work very much. They know me. They manage me in my home. You have to know all these things. So what you do first about all these issues is you say she has started. You have to be prayerful. You have to pray. You have to pray for God to help you. That God, what I found that, okay, I'm reading a comment. Ale Francis, you are doing a nice job. May God continue to empower you. In Jesus. The Lord bless you, Samano. Thank you. God bless you, my brother. You know, so the one, one of the things we have to do when we come across all this difficult situation she's not a virgin she told me she's a virgin so but she married her well you virgin yourself you that you are pointing i you imagine hey is he said is it and i saw a letter is it do, 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 do. is it yes you are married it's not good you know if it's not life threatening let's let's be very realistic there are no men outside and there are no women outside don't ship in yourself but you are married him you see, what we are trying to say is these revelations dig, find out what's your genotype and certificate. Let me see. You know, you, you won't say to him that, ah, darling, let me see. You just say, ah, there's this job. Oh, you see, there are ways. We, we, women are men, be clever. Um, if there's this job that I just come across. Can I help you to download your CV and your certificate? You know, one guy and a lady I was introducing, and the girl, guy was saying, is a um is a british myself i was part of that I said, eh, because the story does not tally you're born here you went home we didn't see you so now you came back and you don't have anything you're sorry i told the girl that <laughs> god bless you pastor titles you know <laughs> and you 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 told the girl that oh i'm a british i said let's you start to see the british passport too until i saw it though even the british passport looks like it was um he was giving at um, Abulia Baba. I said, hey, let us, you know, we want to travel. I said, book, tell him, let's book a ticket. I, book, I did online thing for them. I looked at it. I said, okay, it is true. You don't know what this. You don't know. And it's difficult to take people on the face value. So, but once you are married, so do your diggings. Do your findings. But you marry somebody is snoring. Don't run out of the marriage. Uh, you, you, you. God will become your lullaby where you start talking to him and little, little habits. Somebody is not tidy around the house or doesn't know how to talk. Women don't know how to talk. Let's talk about this. When you find out that she talks to people, she doesn't have manners, you coach her. Don't leave her because of that. Don't leave him because of that. Sit him down. You see, I found that, that these people is the way they are brought up. It's what they have seen. It's what they have picked up from the society. So let us embrace them. You know, once it's coming out, it comes a big house, a ah, ah, big boy. Ah, she too will package. But immediately, the, you, there's no package once you marry. And you find things, then you sit her down to say, my dear, a friend of mine was married. And the guy, they are married now for almost 20 something years. The guy, almost after less than six months, sent her packing. But thank God he's a believer. 
She said to me, she told me herself, the husband one day, middle of the night, walked her down, sat, sat down, and said, ABC. E, let's assume her name is Dolapo. Dolapo, sit down. If it's not that I'm a man of God, can you imagine the amount of money? And she was, it was only her mom that raised her up. Her, her father was late. If it's not the amount of money I've used to, 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 to marry you, and then I pity your poor mother. And because I'm a Christian, I would have sent you packing. Because, you know, all this due diligence, thank you, money, that's true. You know, and she, the man said, look at all these things I've done. Look at everything. The girl, you know, especially when we have degree. <laughs> when we have one degree, degree. <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I said it when I first got married, pride, pride was my, <laughs> when I first got married, when my husband is talking like this, obviously our back, background differs, you know, he comes from a more humble background and he's talking to me, this is my husband, I'll be looking at him like this, you know that, so, me, I, no, I wasn't raised to shout, my, this is mine, I will not shout, I will not talk, but I didn't know I was doing it, I would look at him like this and he's like, then I'll do <laughs> as in me and this one. <laughs> I wasn't saying it that if it's not marriage, how many of us we do that? You know, if it's not marriage, these are real revelations that me and this one, you just find out that it's not what you think he is, you know. And I'm like, then one day he sat me down, and said, Never in your life look at me like that. That was when I realized I was doing it. I said, Am I looking at you? And as he was saying it, I was looking at him like this. So he just said it, then look at you. That's when I realized it, because he was telling me that. Never in your life when I'm speaking to you, I'm your husband. So I'm like, big deal? So, do you understand? So those are stupid things that we do. And the early pride of life, things that we picked up, society, it was after he said it, I realized, oh my God. Then later, when I, and it, it took time. And when he's talking to me, I'll be like, he said, no respond. I said, because you say I'm looking at you like, he said, be yourself. But I'm your husband. Give me the due um, the due respect. So some of us, we are not we are not, it's the, the way, pride is the way we are brought up. We have everything and you just think this marriage is me and because of marriage, I'm this little shorty, this this one that they are, oh, no, no, it's not like that. You are one. And anything you find out, you cannot kill yourself. Just imagine you're the one doing the wrong. Can you divorce yourself? Can you kill yourself? If it's your daughter, what's in that found that is when you have your own children. You see, <laughs> I'll give you another one. My 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 husband had sinuses. Any stage of our marriage, I used to detest when he's sneezing or he's using tissue. I'll be like, I'll be I'll be feeling irritated. And he would say to me, especially when he's sneezing, the tissue, he would say to go and help me to drop it. I won't. I mean, you go and drop it yourself. That's your <laughs> later, later. Obviously, those are the first, I think, two years. Later, later, somebody that will be on the bed and he will sneeze. And before he got the treatment and he inhaler, now my child, can you imagine? My child has similar thing. His own is not sinus, but I guess we could play. The, he was even just telling me today, Mom, you realize I'm not sneezing almost um six months a year because we've been praying it. That will not, affliction will not rise up the second time. But what I'm just trying to say is you find out that, that these things, if it's have been your own children doing it, you condone them. So where's the love? Where's the love? Because it's not from your own womb or your own body, be it a man or a woman. So how to deal with this, the first thing we have to understand is we have to be prayerful. Be discerning about it. Be open. I'm going to read Philippians 1.10 for you so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for that day of Christ. You have to discern. Why is he doing this? Lord, true. At the place of prayer, the Lord will start speaking to you. Tell my parents, if I tell my parents they're going to hate him, he's owned by me like, like the woman that wasn't a virgin. You can now Start calling everybody and tell your parents. They're going to disrespect her. Hey, do you know Dollar Boy was not invited when I married her? She lied to me on top of everything being a pastor. Come on. She's your wife. You have to call her blushes. These are revelations and they are realities of life. You are married, you are married. So the packaging that both of you package, as long as you did not do your own work very well before you enter, you will not start doing it inside. 
you know, Yoruba call it Pamis Lima, Pamis that kill me inside the house, don't kill me outside. Both of you will now sit down and say, now this is the reality. How are we confronting this reality? Okay, a lady bedwets. Let me give you that example. That's a real, a big shock and a reality of life. She bedwets. And the husband is, you know, because they didn't sleep with themselves. So, you see, God will help us. And then the first night, also, I'm not sure, maybe she married the first night. Anyway, it's not something consistent. I don't, I think she does it like occasionally once in a, a week or twice or whatever. She's known how to manage it. And the parent didn't tell him. And he said, the guy wanted to have, but by the grace of God, they're overcoming it. They're seeing doctors, he's reminding her of things. So these are issues of life. The reality, okay, the lack of God for beach. And <laughs> totally, I can imagine if I was in that shoes, I would just laugh my head out because it eh? is. <laughs> this one is wonderful. It's right. If I tune that for yourself, eh? And totally, but it's your problem now. This one is your problem now. You are both of you have to fix it. So, true prayer. You discern and you have been open about it to yourselves that please help me. So, but you know that big factor is why didn't you tell me? Yes, my Pino, it's but that's the reality. I've taught on this channel how I found out things after my marriage that was hidden from me, but they are the big reality. The best thing, the first thing will have been jump through the window. Which old man are you going out? The one that you are jumping out to go and meet, do you know his background? Anybody that wants to marry you at this time, that is not a widow, that is not a divorcee, or he too. There's no marriage that collapses that it doesn't take two. He would have, if he, I said to a young man, was saying that was in Tabi, and I said, why, why did you, why, why did you divorce? And you know, they had a way catalog and they started telling me some stories about the lady and everything. I said, you you lack patience. He said, I'm wiser now. Can you imagine? Most men too, are wiser most women are wiser so let us sit back and try and fix these things except it becomes unrepentant and the person is really bad so you have to discern you have to you know understand that there's no nothing on, new under the sun what you are covering up or what you want to flag out open and tell everybody your wife will be on the bed come on you see some other is a medical problem that can be fixed that can be fixed so but it's painful and that's why i said prayer comes in it took me a long time, man, to pray. And the Lord started renewing my heart against it. So the first thing is you have to be designed. You have to be open. And then let me give you a scripture for every one of us. Psalm 23, 23 is a very good psalm. By the truth, don't sell it. Wisdom, instruction, and insight of life is very, very important. Have wisdom. Women, let our head be correct. Men, let our head be correct. Don't destroy your future manage don't package i don't believe in anybody package because you're going to start repairing after it's not worth it but let's assume things like i said some people like the snoring business like the lady that didn't know she didn't know she's broken her virginity i do not know i wasn't her husband i didn't know where the how the thing enter and come out whether he felt that he, something has gone in before but he himself was saying the place was so tight he, she was a virgin but the high uh, the blood did, didn't come out but the lady didn't know so that took them a while to overcome such thing big deal yeah there's nothing you under the sun you yourself you are not a virgin so and even if you are a virgin it has happened it has happened this expectation is so high about both of you you have to manage you have to come to terms with this reality you have to work it out with her don't stay to friends because it's never going to go a way where you tell your friends or your family that hey, do you know the lack of package yourself? You know the lack was not a virgin when I married her. Hey? On top of everything, she's pastor and she's leading praise and she's only coming and she's doing everything. And she said she was a virgin. And after marriage, I found out that she wasn't a virgin. So big deal. Both of you sort it out in your house. Yeah, it's it's annoying, it's it, 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 it's painful. Speak to counselors. Speak to your pastor. Don't speak to your parent about it because they're never going to forget. Can you imagine if such woman is now waiting on the Lord for a while? They will say she's removed her womb. So all these things, let's buy the truth. Don't sell it. Proverbs 23, 23 says, buy the truth. There's nothing new under the sun. That is the truth. Once you are betrothed, once you are married together, 
work it out. Let's keep, let me give you a good example. Look at Joseph, Mary, Mary in the Bible. Mary, thank you. You know, our home is kind of spiritual, spiritual. The mother of our Lord Jesus Christ, she found herself posting Mary. Joseph said, "Is ah, how am I going to, you know, put up with this one? But he doesn't want to put her to public shame. He said, yeah, okay, I will, still, I will still go ahead. You know, you can't put your wife to public shame. You can't put your husband to public shame. You have to understand how to deal with issues under the roof. Shut your mm, mouth. Because the pastor or the person you are talking to about, they have issues. The wife is bedwetting. The husband is bedwetting. So things are happening in people's life. They are realities of life. She's snoring, she's dirty, she's unkempt, and uh, she's no a degree. She, when you are packaging, she too is packaging. So let's not package, let's just be who we are. But along the line, these realities, let us embrace it. Not negatively, positively, it's annoying, but with I'm gonna to get to forgiveness now. You know, be loving to each other, love never fails. Love where you love your spouse unconditionally, you know. It pours out through your heart, then you'll be able to forgive. One of the factors of love, First Corinthians 13, verse 8, is you have to love. One of it is you have to learn to forgive. You look at the characters of love, forgive. You have to, you don't bear element of grudge. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's not as easy. Except the Lord gives you that mind. It's not as easy. I went through it and I remember I always kneeled and I'll pray and I'm saying, God, give me a new heart. I'll be crying to be able to forgive. And then you, you find out that once you pour it at the feet of Christ, things will get, you know, the body will be lighter. You now start walking through it. Okay, he lied to me. Okay, it's not. Okay, it's not who I think he is. It's not polite. He speaks to women. Some men don't know how to treat women. Some men do not, they just sleep. They don't care. You know, they will make love to you. They just turn their back and they will start snoring. That thing is so annoying to women, but the man doesn't know. So you have to sit him down. You have to be loving. You have to ask him to know that, you know, what you're doing is hurting me. This is what I expect. This is what I expect. Then go for marriage counseling and things like that. And things will start working well for both of you. Then by and large, you have to forgive. Because that is, I left it for the last one because it's very, very important for you to forgive this, your spouse. If you don't forgive, you won't live in harmony. You won't live in harmony. I'm telling you, this uh, virginity something almost disrupted. The man did not forgive. He kept saying she lied. There's another one about age. I witnessed this one. I know both of them. I know the couple. I remember the, the lady is older. Big deal. Big deal. Africans, we need to shine our eyes. I don't know what's wrong with some of us. So, yeah, I know it's a big deal. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, you know, I can't allow my wife to be older than, yeah, don't marry somebody that is junior than you, is forcing you. This man, they, both of them Christian ministers. I remember the lady told my servant, pastor, that this is, let's assume she was 33 and the guy was 31 or 30. I can't remember their age, they in their 30s in those days. And then she told us, and I remember asking her when she came to my house, because I was speaking to her, my husband was speaking to the husband downstairs. I took her to my room. I sat there and said, have you told brother so, so, so? She said, pastor, I have told him. And then we concluded it was a celebrated marriage. Everything went well. Hey, less than a year after. Less than a year. Less than a year after issue started. This is the guy who said the woman, you know, man is in our, she will say the man, the woman is not respecting him. Uh, and the woman, I've never seen it, you know, when I went, myself, we went, the lady was saying, the guy was speaking loudly and saying, because there, there was issues of domestic violence, so they called us after a while, it escalated. And we went, and the guy was saying, and the lady said, so, 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 Banji, it's not Banji, I just call Banji, so, 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 right, Banji, milk, milk, he shake bear. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not your mate, myself, I pass on you guys, I'm like this, I'm like, why would you a man you say you are not respecting him because you are older than him? And before us, you will say, Banji, I'm not your mate, Banji. I'm older than you from the mouth of a wife. See Africans, I will mess up things, you know. So till tomorrow, they are still paddling things. I'm sure if if, if we've been holding the guys hand like this, because at some point you told us that the Lord told him he did not receive. I said, Ah, you have received this one. 
sign seed and deliver your package for the rest of your life you know and we involve their new pastor because they move from one church to the other after they married and we involve their pastor so if not that the guy is still not conforming about some things but things like age tell tell them your real age you cannot hide age especially we women we package in that you are older than the guy if a man nah, this is no big deal i have people surrounding me that married women older than them it's no big deal it's the way a man carries himself that will make a woman to respect you i'm going to read a comment being packed on her blood doesn't have to come when a woman is disvaging because a hymen may be thin ah, thank you very much yo. this man oh that's what i had oh in the, but hey, hey, listen let's talk this thing let's 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 be realistic because I, I i might discuss this topic on another day because of time why is it sister being pay i can you have to answer me why is it that it is in this present age that a woman's eye man is thin and blood doesn't come out in the days of our period because that thing you see as a pastor you are counseling some things you yourself in your brain you are thinking ah, this one passed me but holy spirit just help me you know because you don't want to scatter in those days please if you are out there before we we, we we close in the next night night 10 minutes in those days when a woman says she's in virgin they see blood so why are the eye men so thin now or during sport, some woman will just tell you, I was doing javelin in school and javelin, javelin, and then no blood. I think we should just even men just even stop talking and asking women whether they are virgin or are you too a virgin? There's no way we can show your own virginity now. So leave these poor women alone. If you are the ones that are making them, you know, and now they are packaging, they said they are selling something that they will use to wash the place, and the place will be so tight because you are you, you and after you marry now, the place can no longer be tight. Then you see that the place is like a well, and you are now saying how she done it because you made that to package now. Sister Bing write your comments. So everybody online before we go, is it possible? Why is it nowadays on a on a more lighter note before we round up? Why is it nowadays that the Imens, <laughs> Mommy Clara? I didn't pick that. You said yes, yeah, so that's how it must be. I don't understand what it must be like that. Reverend Ronke, I can see you showing flashing love. I'm catching your love, oh, but we are not seeing your comment. Omoni Atilola, you said sport is a good example that's breaking people's Imens. Eh, our, our, our forefathers, our foremothers, and you know, our ancestors, does it mean that they were not active? Because women nowadays, we cheat. <laughs> women, we are power nice. All of the women outside nowadays, package. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lord, we have mercy on us. So we are using cotton wood to cover the eyes of these men in the, in the name of religion and education. Why must your own eye men break? If you are a virgin, we must see blood. Me, I don't believe it, but you know, when you ask me, I'll just tell you ah, if she says she's a virgin, you know, ah, so, <laughs> she's a virgin. It, ah, which one? Ah, the Bible is a legend. Yes, be yes. If you are saying the truth and I'm dis disbelieving you, I'm the one that is a sinner. So I'll take you for your uh, word, uh, word value. I'll take your word for its value. So let's forgive, let's be respectful. When we are speaking to, do, I'm going to read another comment. Clara James, do they use that place to place for <laughs> Mama? This Mama Clara, she's over seventy. Oh my day! Some some wonderful grammar in the house. God bless you, mommy. We have to come to that. Too. Are they using that place to do sports? That all these iron men are breaking. I can see. Again, friend in Nigeria, like Doctor True Love, comment on this one. You don't disappear, and I can see my Prince Lara online as well. Binke Akintola. In those days, they have been victims as well, and that was when they sent them back to their home, shame and humiliate, and to humiliate them. Okay, that's true. Wow, so it happened in those days that some people on the eh, but you see, there's a dividing line. This kind of thing is a very quick line that anybody can use. Even the person that, that don't things behind, we just say sports. As I have, I'm a virgin after giving birth to two children because it's sports. 
Thank you, Buka. I was saying. <laughs> it is fun. Especially our young ladies. They are so wonderful. And they are packaging. What I hear the people even do nowadays is they said there's a kind of um liquid wash, something, something, I don't know the name. There's something, solution anyway. Let's me let me put it that they use and they wash the place and they said they play. They don't use alum like in our old days that people will say they use alum because nowadays when people are doing things you know to themselves and they taste alum, they'll <laughs> they'll deal with it. They don't do alum now. There's there's a solution that they said. Maybe it doesn't have taste or whatever that they use. And but why do you have to go through all this madness? Please, I'm going to read another comment. Healthy eating, quite a lot of family rely on canned food. Family to encourage organic food. Omali, as lawyer, I know you are a nurse. So does that mean when you are not eating, when you are not living healthy life, does that disparage people? Because people are coming out with a no, it's not like that. Like so. Sorry, I'm sorry if you are out there and, you know, you are a victim of something like that. But it's funny to me, you know, that you are using, that Mama Clara James said it, are you using your your down below, you know, your your sugar pot. Let me let me quote it to, tonight. Your honey pot, like one of my aunties said in those days, yeah, my a honey pot. Are you using it to place pots? You know, when you are not a virgin, just say you are not a virgin. Just give people, let them know who you are. Because Amani and I need I need a definition of healthy eating. You know, how would healthy eating disvagin somebody? So somebody that is not eating healthy, my <laughs> my, my mommy, <laughs> mommy Grace Bimpele, bless you, woman of God. I appreciate you. My, <laughs> so as we're rounding up, please drop your comment. Um, women that claim that blood did not come out, you know, we are talking about confronting reality and um, revelations with reality. You marry somebody and they are not who they say they are. They are not what you thought. Some are not because of non-disclosure or lies, but attitude, you know, manners, you know, she's not a virgin and truly maybe she's a virgin and you didn't meet blood there or somebody doesn't know that their Mr. Tombo cannot stand up very well, which I doubt, I doubt that a man will not be having an erection and he will know he's not having an erection. You know, these are the serious ones, but there are the issues like people snoring, you know, people not telling you their habit, their bed wetting, or, you know, you know, little, little things. Some people, some people have gone through operation, cancer, you know, things that you need to let your partner know. You know, so all these things, how do we face them? So people, um, Clara, against me to uh, Mama 70 something after 27, after two children, you said at 72 that you are a virgin. God has seen your logo, it is well with you. And uh, Mommy Grace being paid. Uh, thank you, ma. Thank you, ma. Thank you, Mommy. God bless. So by and large, we're just, we're just, um, been on the light, um, lighter note before we round up this night. The most important thing is. Let us be truthful. Let us play ourselves out the way we are. And if you now marry and you find out that your wife, for example, has attitude, your wife is rude, your wife does not understand she's eating some things from you, he's eating some things from you, he's nurse, he's talking to your parents rudely, there are ways of dealing with them. These are things stop being, you have to go to the Lord the first. You have to be loving. You have to show respect. You have to address the issue with respect. I told you about mine that my husband had to sit me down. That what's wrong with you? I didn't know I was. I know people used to say I was prideful, you know, full of myself. I didn't know he went into my marriage and he's speaking to me. And I'll look at him from head to toe. That's it's just in my head. There's something we used to talk when we were joking young. That me see what he was saying me as in you, me, and you. If not because of this thing called marriage in my head. I didn't know I was doing it, but it's just that. And he called me and he said, don't look at me like that. And as he was even saying, I was, he said, look at it. And that was the last time. I'm like, do I really look? He said, yes, I've been condoning this, but I just can't take it. I'm your husband. And that's when I find out. So there are ways of dealing with these things in-house. Let's not take it. Your wife doesn't know how to cook. That's your own business. Start teaching her. Send her to cooking school. If she's not, I know a man to tomorrow is the one that cooks, you know, other food. Some women, they are busy or maybe they, I'll say they are lazy. 
They cannot cook. As long as you can make provision for food, deal with it inside your home. These are realities of life. If you think it's not happening elsewhere, the people you are going to meet to tell, they are handling worse situation. Everybody is dealing with their issues. Deal with your issues in house. You have marriage. The one you want to go and meet might be worse. Our money at Lola said, so our Instagram people have gone. God bless you. Oh, sorry, I'm going to join them again quickly. Oops, 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 oops. Sorry, sorry. Oops. So I'm going to join them again. Oops. Now, so sorry about that. So money at Lola said something. Malnutrition and dehydration can weaken ladies' system. All right. Okay. So if a lady is not well fed, they can lose their virginity. Men, can you hear? Don't start chasing your wife out because on the wedding night, she's, she's a pastor. She's pastor the life of preaching and speaking in tongues. And then you marry her now. You realize that she's still, she's not a virgin. No? Because people can have a child and still say they are virgin. No? Nowadays, I've seen a lot of, I was counseling somebody this week. Even the, the story became, I'm still processing it in my brain. And she's wanting me to beg uh, uh, suppose fiance, uh, fiance that she accidentally, the pastor accidentally was rubbing her breast and accidentally slept with her and she got pregnant. I'm like, so she begged her husband to take her back. Uh -huh, beg your pardon. So there's a lot of madness going out, but these ones are not married. So the guy can still take, he has picked, the, the, the guy has actually picked the relay. So the, the lady is following and is like looking for somebody that will beg i i still find it difficult i told her call me back i want to hear it verbally go, 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 go. they will know how to talk about this so the most important thing clara james women must know how to cook now my food make my husband marry me we know you are a caterer and now you're a white going it's very spot on is on, on on point it's so said that you have not made for me one for me lately so as we are going around on this night by and large welcome on board everyone that's just joining um, try and share this video there yeah, and watch it. Um, we made it lighter, but these are if you look at every marriage that's collapsed or broken lately, yeah, because of how we face our revelation, what we stumbled at. A man, in fact, let me give you a hot one before I go. You say it's pastor. I see it every day because I'm in the I'm in the market front. I'm a, I'm 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 a market market woman or market ministry um market ministration. I, I just I just um match made two couple. No, they are not couple yet. Two two people now. The guy masturbates. They've not done anything together. They are Christian, but he told the lady. He must thank God for disclosure. He said he's not slept with any woman all his life and he's been masturbating, you know. And doctor told him he needs it, he's been doing it. Now the woman is finding it difficult because anytime they are talking, the man is talking about it that he doesn't even know. So when I spoke to him, he said there's nothing they can do. I said, you have to deal with these habits because you won't be able to. But I appreciate something that at least he fears God and he said it, that he has that problem. There's the case I knew about a man that got married and then he, he, he would not, he would, he would leave his bedroom in the night and the wife found him jacking or jacking or whatever, yanking or jacking, I don't know what time they use, something in him, he's just doing something to himself in the bathroom. He's masturbating because he's used to it. The, the woman had to scream out to, to, to her in-laws, but I don't know if she told her parents. These are issues that you find out nowadays. You know, I had something recently as well. I, I've not verified that, but it's a sister that told me that a lady, she's so, her sexual appetite is so large to the extent that even this Christmas, her husband bought her sex toy to be using on her. So there are a lot of crazy things, but people are managing it. That's why, by and large of it is face your reality work out your marriage do everything possible to sort out this issue do everything possible to ensure that your marriage keeps working try try 
But if it gets out of, and I'm not saying condone lies. I'm not saying condone rubbish. You met her, like you said, now look at it. It's ignorance. Even me, I find it difficult. But I've seen people online that says it's possible that you can actually, because it's something I've thought in my head that why is he nowadays that people say they are virgin and they are not meeting them. So we'll be committing a sin if you, if you make noise on that woman and send her out and she's indeed a virgin. It's just that you did not see blood there. So, but I believe if you pray and you discern and you speak to her in a loving way and you treat her with love and dignity, just like Joseph did to Mary after he found out that she was pregnant, I'm sure that the peace of God will guide your heart. Then you start seeing that there's more to this thing. And even if such was the case that she lied, she's your wife. If you lie, you're going to kill yourself. So let's work on these things, please. By the grace of God, let us keep our home intact. If you are still in the um, courtship period, disclose. Disclose, please. Say as much thing, your general type. People have AS. A, um, SS children now because they did not disclose. If you disclose, there are medical things. I know people that have gone through it. There are, there's a way you can go medically that you find out the sexes of those children before they are born. But if you had lied that you are AA and you have forged... Anyway, God will help us. I don't want to say much this now because we get desperate to marry. We package unnecessarily. Then we pack out because they will throw you out. Then you, as you package in, they will package you out. We don't need that. The peace of God will guide us. But once we find out about these revelations, as sad, as sad as they are, they are the realities of life. People are coping with them. As long as it's not detrimental to your life, it's not beating you, or it's not a ham robber, it's not compromising your, your, your peace. And, you know, there are things that you can work with. The Lord will help us. The Lord will heal our home. As many homes that are suffering, marriages are suffering, homes are suffering. And let me tell you something, it's nothing new. It's been from the beginning. If you look at it, the serpent, the devil targeted marriage from the start in the Garden of Eden. So till tomorrow, marriages are being targeted. Homes are being broken because of our ignorance. And that's why we're dealing with these issues so that you know that you are no longer alone. People are, it's happened to people several times and they are coping. The hand of the Lord will be upon you as I round up tonight. Please share this video, not for the amount of views for, for people's life to to be um to be to, to benefit from it uh, for people to 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 have a breakthrough and that marriages should be healed the lord will be with you the lord will keep you the lord will make his face to shine upon every one of us i appreciate everyone that's come on board tonight the lord bless you if you're new on my platform my name is Olapa Aguradeni. every wednesdays 8 30 p.m uk time i come live and i talk about marriages and relationship next week um a day to valentine if you don't have a valentine you better go and get one because i'm slamming badly on every one of you singles and marriage that you are married and you are strangers in the home let love be in the hair it's a season of love not that we are celebrating it the way the world is and we are in the world you know we are not of the world we do our home better but you can't say you are in the world so don't fake yourself you're in the world you're eating amala you are not eating a uh, you are not eating spirit. You are eating amala. You are eating bread. You are so be alive. Make your wife and your husband make your home, um, make it a pleasant place. The hand of the Lord will be upon us. The Lord will heal every home in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord will bring love into our life. Love is sweet. When you marry and your marriage is blossoming, it's sweet. You blossom. You are happy. The hand of the Lord will be upon you. May the grace of the Lord that passes human understanding rest and abide with us. May the Lord fight our battle and the blood of the lamb keep us until next wednesday i come back your way stay blessed keep winning and keep shining the lord bless you thank you very much everyone